So what is magic? Magic, true magic, is the art of using controlled thought to produce a result. Controlled thought to produce a result. So if someone tells you, see, I get this in my class. When we got to the altars last week, I, I do classes on Saturday and Sunday. It's the same class. I make a day whatever convenient, so it's the same curriculum on each day. And on both days, someone said, are we allowed to put our altars in our room? I said, well, where have you heard you're not supposed to put our altars in our room? Both of them said, some lady on the internet. Who's the lady? Some lady. She said, oh, no, no way, no how. I said, well, why not? She said, well, your ancestors, if you do an ancestral altar in your room and you want to fuck at something, the ancestors can see. So I'm like, well, now let me get this straight. If you was fucking in the kitchen, Somehow your ancestors came to see. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> did you ever think this through? You know what I'm saying? You know, it, 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 are we thinking this through? And they, they're sitting there in pause, you know, not really thinking it through. So this is because, again, let me say this again. So what is magic? True magic is the art of using controlled thought to produce a result. So are you using controlled thought or some lady from the internet controlling your thoughts mm. so much so you're not even thinking about what she said enough to say wait a minute I'm questioning it for instance mm -hmm. yeah it don't make no, no sense no it don't make sense right yeah. did, did, right do you right do you even stop to say like this doesn't even make any sense or like but not to mention the, the four weeks of class, I'm telling you throughout class constantly, be a scientist, try it your own way. Do what you need to do. You need to tell me what happened, when it, what's the worst that can happen if you do it. You need to be saying, well, when I put it in my room, this is what happens. When I put it in that room, this is what happens. Mm -hmm. That's the conversation we need to be having. You get what I'm saying? Okay. Now, right. so, let me see, we're gonna keep going and find another one. Right. Uh, page here now the secret of successful magic works lies in controlling the mind because magic is the science of using the mind that's it magic is the science of using your mind the mind is all and the universe is mental you are trying, you, everything you're, and I show in my class, every single ritual, every single system, I bring it back to the mind. Because there's one and only, there's one and, there's one and one only thing you're trying to do. Get control of your divine mind that has been controlled. Eat, fuck the Illuminati. Fuck the CIA. Fuck antennas and shit all around the planet. What has been controlling your mind is your goddamn silly-ass parents, mm -hmm. your silly-ass grandmother. Those are the ones from day one that had your mind, and they're only a product of their silly-ass parents and silly-ass grandmother. Exactly. Sit up straight. Don't do that. Always say thank you. A man never does that. Look me in the eye. Shake my hand like that. Sit up straight. A lady crosses her legs. Da -da 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 -da. On and on and on to you, you be wiping your ass with a shower curtain and you won't even know that you're doing it. <laughs> then I, I teach people in my class how they have to get over their parents. See, psychiatry now, because they're trying to get money, they link you to everything that's wrong with you, your mama did it, which they're right, which they're absolutely right. Your mama did it, your mama is God. You get what I'm saying? See, look, listen. Africans figured it out. While y'all niggas are still warning around on Facebook talking about each one teach one, nobody understood the science of that. The science of each one teach one is seeing all women as your mother and all men as your uncle. Because if you leave one woman to be your mother and see her as your only mother like we do in America, then the flaws of that woman become your next problem. But if you see more than one woman, a whole village of mothers, all the strengths from them, can go into that one person for balance. So we would say each one teach one because all the strengths, like if you have one uncle, 
and or all your uncles or, or one uncle who swings a hammer and your natural energy is to be an artist you can't learn from him but if you no. have a village of uncles who are artists scholars mathematicians whatever you're going to find you'll be able to find it in that one motif of man so no one man or no one woman is responsible for you because every human is flawed every human is flawed so we have a bunch of flawed individuals that's my child and i remember spike lee's movie no one's going to tell me how to beat them um but but uh not, not even no one's going to tell me how to raise him, not even his father you know what i'm saying we had right. that mentality and because of that mentality the flaws the in the in the the inefficiency the the, the fit the deficiency goes into each and one of these children here which are us and we hold on to things and don't even know we're under mind control by them our perspective of the world is done by them as you grow up to be the magician your whole goal your whole path is a journey within it's called know thyself so it's a journey within it's a it's a it's a it's a quest within and some of the things you the first things you ask yourself is why am i doing that what attaches me to that where did i get that from you're doing the psycho you're doing your own psychiatry work psychiatrists today will tell you it's your mother which is true but then they'll try to get you to, to come to terms with that or get your mother to, to apologize for that but they're mm -hmm. not trying to do what the magician should be trying to do is trying to release yourself or grow up beyond that you get what i'm saying mm -hmm. understand that your mother is nothing but a human being and that's the path of forgiveness first and that's the the true forgive and forgetting something is not just saying she did that to me and i have to forgive and forget her it's really having the compassion to see that she's nothing but a flawed human as well because as a magician you understand that humanity has a natural is flawed by its very existence so once you once i started to understand my mother she, she was only 18 when she had me and i look at my stepson who's 18 and just fucking up that i shudder to think if that motherfucker was my father my stepson who's 20 my father was 20 when he had me just the shit he's doing i now it makes sense which was the path of me saying he was just a man you get what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. He's not responsible no more. I'm now responsible as a magician because I am taking over my own mind. All right.